What was that you said about the skeletons being fallen knights? The best I can come up with is that we're fighting off the rescuers. When they died here, the curse turned them into skeleton warriors. How did anyone even get down here without your magic amulet to open the way? Do me a favor, would you? Stop worrying about anything making sense. Okay, have we rested yet? No. Alright, and that saves. Perfect. So, I'm looking at it. It looks like there's a Discord that's pretty damn active. Or not a Discord. There's a uh, there's a subreddit that has very few actual like subscribers, but is pretty active regardless. So I might be able to find some info on the uh, the secrets. Maybe. I love the fact that this place is underwater. That is such a cool look. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here though. Yeah, so I'm I'm probably gonna have to do some uh, some research. Along the way. Okay, so let's go to bucket. Let's see, optimize, optimize. So what's this do? Poison resistance, greater immunity to poisons, three vigor, some extra agility. Okay. Seems reasonable. So we're using the spear, which does two to eleven damage as opposed to the club. Uh what is that? Critical damage, armor piercing. I'm not actually sure what these little stats are. Armor piercing. Chance to stun, armor piercing. If I do toggle attributes, okay. So the spear has a much higher critical chance and a much higher hit rating. I see. So that's that's the trade-off here, because the cleaver and the mace don't. We would have a higher chance to stun-ish. But still. Oh, did I not update my, my stream information? Okay, well, now I've updated it. Sorry about that. I apologize to everybody that thought this was world next door. That is wrong. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna roll spear. Uh, question is, where are we going? We still have staircases. There might be something over there, actually. I want to go take a peek at that real quick, just because. Oh, right, that's the water that I can't get over. Well, this is frustrating. Oh. Did I just never update the game like a dingus? There we go. Now I've fixed it. I apologize to everyone involved, including everyone. Ah, uh, those were some noises. Like, that was really loud, whatever that was. Okay, so let's just keep going up. Like, something got hissy. And I'm not sure why. I wonder if we find our next uh, party member chained up in here. Because we still have three more Maidens to get. Now that I'm thinking about it. We could trap some light in our vial from this light spring. Let's see what happens from there. When a vial of light is active, you may notice nearby items or runes which are otherwise hidden from the eye. Distance to hidden objects. The closer you get to a hidden room, the brighter it gets. They but magically it's... seal the doors. Okay, one second. So, closer you get to a hidden room, the brighter it gets. But as you explore the environment, the effect expires. The vial needs to be refilled. Hidden runes. Okay. So. We've got... I got it. Well, would you look at that. 
a magic rune. Half my share of the rewards as it helps us unlock those doors. Okay, so we've got a timer. And effectively, we just have to blitz it until we can find the hidden stuff. So there is a secret finding skill. It's... It's just like a form of compass, sort of. Ah, here we go. Okay. I Hopefully there's some means of extending the the range on this thing. Or not the range, the duration. Because I'm assuming... Okay, well we found a secret. I have no idea which one it is. We've solved the runic puzzle. Maybe I can go back to that other runic door. Like, over there? Maybe? maybe? There's a fake wall in the prison room that had all the skeletons. Interesting. Uh... You mean one that you can just walk through? The problem is, like, the room with all the skeletons, there's a lot of rooms with all the skeletons. Okay, so we want the... Ah, purity. A foreign concept to one such as myself. I wonder what happens Innocence. when you get it wrong. Whoever designed these rune keys was absolutely not thinking of me at the time. Okay, and this... is that. Let's stay here. Okay, so we found a secret. The one with the chest and the cells you couldn't reach. Oh, okay. So yeah, time to actually wander around a little bit. And, yeah. Something is really unhappy with me. Wait, can I go? Did I never go down? Aha! I was like, there's something really mad at me right now. And it should probably die. Okay, there we go. Skeleton Sorcerer is... Is quite dead. I guess I don't have a choice. Nor is that really a problem. Okay. And I believe this is one of those games where you can come back to the dungeons later. But... Oh, hey, we're about to level again. I guess we did kill a boss. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. My secret finder is not activating in the slightest. So I'm going to just charge ahead real quick. And see if it lights up at all as we run out this direction. It's pretty boring. Okay. Uh, did we ever... I'm assuming I went in here a long time ago. I certainly don't see anything there. Okay, well that's fine. Let's see, so where are we... Where are we going? Did we actually check this... Fully check the room downstairs? No, we most definitely did not. Okay, and then we'll go looking for that secret room. Let's see. Yeah, I checked for a rune in the basement. Uh, that, that little, like, compass rose thing would have lit up uh, if there had been a secret in the area. But it looks like, uh, it looks like I'm going to need more light crystals or, like, the vial needs to have a longer duration or who knows what. 
the water is definitely something I'm not going to be able to get past normally or conventionally. Can I do anything with these? No. There's a lot of stuff that you think you could bust up for firewood. Bust me up a shift robe. Let's see. I don't think there was anything in here. Yeah, it's it's this room. We still haven't found the last of the weights either. Oh. Never found this. I kind of curious what it is. I mean, obviously, I guess it's just like a drowned passage. I don't think there's anything else in it. But well, that was cool. I wonder how I activated it. Or gained access? I don't know. Either way, we've leveled up again, so we should probably make the most of that. Alright, so we can get cleave. It's all enemies, or hit an enemy with a grueling strike, deal extra damage, weapon damage, make it sleep for two turns, or more strength. Well, let's grab cleave. And keep buffing his minimal intelligence. Oh, and we've also got stat points. I guess, actually... What I could do... Because we do also have stats. I could increase his intelligence here. Or we could just keep going on agility. I, I don't... I hope we get enough party members that I could potentially switch out Yoshka. May, maybe. So go for a little bit of HP, or just keep going damage. Dagbage! Okay, so leather shoulder pad, pad just gets vigor. Nothing too fancy. Okay, insert key. Oh, we actually have two keys. We still haven't figured out how to get in that one yet. Okay, we get a minor spellbook. Eh. Minor spellbook, a staff, and some gold. Anything else? It feels like there's supposed to be more here. The doors are locked. Kind of almost to taunt you. Okay, well, we probably want to go this way now. Now, okay, so I've been in here. It doesn't look like there's anything more. And that's a secret. We're at three out of eight. So, yeah, we've been there. And, uh, there's not much in these towers. We've been up there. So, I think the next place we want to check out is this one. So we want to go here. Actually, I can put a marker down. Perfect! Oh, that's nice. It'd be nice if you could actually write little notes and stuff. As, like, reminders for when you come back or if you forget. Okay, so there's a false wall somewhere here, and I have no idea how to look for it. Beauty symbol, which opens the cell door. I'm assuming this is the place. Y yell, yell at me if I've I've led myself astray. Because, yeah, there's a treasure chest there. Now we just have to find it. Oh. Wow. I... A secret area. Let's see what they're hiding. You can't get any more obvious than that. 
Maybe you won't need this anymore. Was that visible the first time I ever came through this? If we had stumbled across this hidden area before seeing that strange contraption down here, I would have been very confused. Who hides a weight? Like, was that visible when we walked by? Like, that's a really cool mirage wall, but like... I almost feel like I, I should have seen that. I, I guess I was blind. Okay, so we can get into this. That one do anything? Okay, I see. So we get an oak wand, linen cloth, and gold. We get access to these. I think most of them are empty, but we should double check anyway. Hello, dead man. I'm gonna call you Steve. Bye, Steve, forever. Wait. Something here lit up. Oh. Maybe the treasure chest. Okay, dagger, copper crown, prisoner's lament, and some gold. Hidden by a forest spell, there lies a special wishing well. It seeks a crown of copper make. Great treasures, they say, are at stake. But now I face my greatest plight, shielded from the Sun King's light. Will I one day escape this cell? Will I find you wishing well? She was likely here for years. You'd think he could have written some better poetry. Let's hold on to this copper crown, though. It could prove useful. Okay, so that's it for this room. So there's still three more secrets. Are there any more that I should be aware of, or did I find all of them? Let's see, did I have problems moving my save from my laptop? Nope, I'm still on my laptop. And will be for the next couple of days, couple of episodes. Uh, I hope it's not, like, super noticeable, but still. Let's see, that's the only one you found info on. Yeah. Uh, let me double check, because I found a post on it. Five out of eight secrets with a 99% map revealed. So they're right where I am. Working statue head. Oh, you have to come back later with a shovel for two of the secrets. Yeah, so it seems like most people are stuck. So, whatever whatever it is, it's uh it's not something I can get to cuz we we have to have a shovel. I kind of want to name Man, I wish I could almost name every character in the party just so we could have bucket shovel. I don't know. I should have a I oh man. I think I might if I ever play D&D &D and actually make a character, I think I'm going to have a Kanku and I'm going to call him Bucket. And he's going to wear a bucket. And that's what he's going to yell. He'll be an expert in pantomime and buckets. I think I'll request a bucket of holding just for extra stupid. Okay, so we want to go this way. I always get kind of turned around going through this section. Let's see. Oh, nope. Haven't been that way. Okay, onwards. Let's see. Probably over here on the left. Unfortunately, I'm not super used to navigating this, and we probably won't do that much navigation with it anyway. 
But it's fine. I still want to pick up that sword. Okay, so nothing's going to be hissing angrily, angrily at me either. Which is good. Okay, right. We're just going to the top. Uh, let's see. Room. Beauty. Now that's something I can relate to. I thought I was gonna rot in that cage. Thank you. Can we follow you out? Of course. Wow. We did it, didn't we, Yoshka? Indeed. How does it feel to be a bona fide hero? It's not heroics, it's just what I was meant to do. Oh, then you won't mind if I take all the reward then, will you? No. What if there's stuff in that... That is a cool looking the thing. The duo exited the castle in triumph. But it was not long before a young knight crossed their path. Out of breath, Mezei greeted the companions with delight, but not without a great sense of urgency. Word has already spread of your deeds, the young warrior and the bandit. I come before you great heroes with a desperate plea. There's only one hero for you to thank this fine evening, and it's not me. Evening? Alas, sunrise was four hours ago. If you can call it that. Impossible. While you faced the evil forces below, a new darkness fell upon the land. A literal darkness. It seems the sun has vanished. Like he said, impossible. Unless there's a healthy sum of gold involved in whatever you ask of us, of course. Then I'm up for hearing you out. There is. Just one question. You with me, hero? No. You are with me. Haha. -ha. What exactly would you have us do, Meze? Find the sun. I'm sorry, what? Find the sun? <laughs> the king has apparently misplaced it. You have the full support of the royal army. Which, after so many failed attempts at freeing the prisoners, is now me. Well, how reassuring. But I must ask, how do we find the sun? I don't know, but I do know of someone who might. We must head to the Great Forest. I... The voice acting is such a stark difference between the protagonist, Yoshka, and then Mezzi. Mezzi isn't even using Indeed. a good mic. The Great Forest invites all with lush scenery and friendly animals. But when darkness falls, that is when thrive the creatures of the night. And with no sun to stop them, they've never been more active. They've never been hungrier. Anyway, people are asking, what about the Copper Crown? That's actually, uh, leads to a well somewhere in the Great Forest. That's all I know. As they entered the forest, Meze spoke more of the person whom they sought. The Merchant of the Woods. <laughs> the traveling Taltush once told me he has the best weapons in the land, and the most knowledge. A Taltush? You really don't leave your home much, do you? Taltush are slaves to the old faith. The only thing crazier than their outlandish attire is their belief they have magical powers. Meze. We have come a very long way, and the path ahead of us is extremely dangerous. Are you sure about this? It's the best lead we have. That's good enough for me. Let's go. You hear those bugs all around us? I'll bet they're almost as big as we are. Let's hope you're wrong. Let's hope they're bigger than us. I'm itching for a scrap. I get to meet a fan today. It was kind of cool. Dude was... Like, ridiculously tall. Which is kind of cool, actually. But, like, I don't know. 
You're a fan of the scrap mechanic series. Back when I still did it. I know Stumps plays it occasionally. If they ever sent me an invite, I'd probably join them. I don't think I'd, like, go out of my way normally to play it solo. Especially not solo. Maybe? I don't know. You're going to find I have a nasty habit of being right about things. Oh, that's a hell of a lot of things. As far as his connection with the underworld. I wasn't sure I believed that until now. If he's as wise as you say, I'm sure your merchant of the woods can give us a full explanation. Kerblamo! Okay, so what do we have? Boost your party members, granting them defense and bonus and heals their HP. Uh, encourage your party members, granting agility, intelligence, and initiative. In the turtle formation, increase each party member's defense, make them untargetable by 25% chance for two turns, and then taunts. And then we have attacks. So I'm probably going to save him up as the healer, just because. And, uh, let's see. Cleave! Yeah, these guys are a bit tougher. They're not doing a whole lot of damage to me, which is kind of nice. What? Not fair. Again? Doesn't get any less disgusting the second time, does it? Okay. Let's turtle up. Let's get some energy back. Hopefully, we get a character soon that increases our. Uh, like, gets us energy generation. Because otherwise we're going to have some problems. Let's see. Might as well just boost stats here. Okay. Dual strike. Yeah, so note to self, in these groups, focus fire the bugs. Oh, I should probably check Messi's equipment. I bet he is undergeared. See, do we bother with the fireball? We'll bother with the fireball. It just gets pricey. Let's see. We could go turtle, we could... I mean, I haven't taken that much damage, which is kind of nice. The other one's burning pretty well. Luckily, we don't have to use uh, Yoshka as a healer anymore, which actually is going to save him a significant amount of energy. So we can use it for fire-related abilities. I should probably start using his ranged attacks. I don't know what I'm doing. That's some damage. But yeah, so we'll just kind of use Mezzi as a consistent, uh, let's see. It's actually guard. I gotta get that energy back. Luckily, my enemies barely do damage. So, I can kind of just turtle up. I don't want to do it, but I could actually just have everybody sitting around blocking on the last enemy. And more or less be fine. Because Mezzi's heal is pretty sig significant compared to enemy damage. I'll hold on to this beetle leg. In case we're desperate for food. <laughs> so Bucket really likes the taste of beetle legs. Okay, so I don't see any spiders this time around. So we don't have to we don't have to worry about them eating each other. Yeah, they do an amount of damage here. I'm just gonna block up. They're burning anyway, so it's not so bad. This one might die. Yep, there we go. Oh, okay. That one seems so nice. Yeah, we've got... we're okay. My energy is the biggest concern here. Okay. 
uh, let's see. What we do want to do is take a look at Mezzi and actually equip him with stuff. Okay, but yeah. So what is what else does he have? Looks like he's got thorns taunt your enemies with a 75% chance increase block redirect all damage taken to your attackers. That's not bad. Oh, he's got for the king. Kind of wish I could respec him cuz yeah, we got to go down this tree. Because, yeah, for the king, recharge 25% of energy to all party members. Like, that more or less keeps us going for quite a while, I guess. Don't look at me. I don't have that key. So we got some gold, some firewood. I really appreciate the fact that these are just automatically marked on the map for me. I have hiccups. It is a problem. Uh, let's see. I realize I think that has something to do with the difficulty level I'm on. Uh, like there was a, a mapping difficulty level. I'm sure it's one of those where you can... Uh, I think you can do it yourself. But I am lazy. Okay. Last page from the Treasure Hunter's Journal. I've ventured too deep into these woods. There's treasure here, alas, I know there is treasure here. But nothing more do I value now than safe passage home, passage I will never find. Where are you, son? It feels like hours, maybe even days since you last showed in the sky. Hath Napkirali, hath Napkirali forsaken us all? Or does the Sun King hold a grudge against me personally for reasons I cannot fathom? I saw a spider walk by as large as a horse and a beetle not much smaller. The thought of fearing a beetle had never previously crossed my mind. I never used to fear, period. Something terrible has happened. I pray whoever finds this letter finds me alive along with it, but I do not believe that this will be the case. I hate the uh, the font that they chose for this. I think that's just basic Times the New first Roman. Eternal Night was starting to turn this person mad. Indeed. It appears he has truly abandoned all of his belongings. I'm less inclined to turn him to the king now. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. The bag is marked on the map, but I already looted it. I guess it's fine. Okay, so there is a that giant spider. Size. So we must... We gotta focus fire that. It must die first. See, we don't have anything else. I'll just hit it. Nope. Did they hurt? They hit Yoshka pretty bad. We might have to do some healing on Yoshka fairly soon, but I gotta get rid of that spider first. Okay, he does have quite the heal there. Well, let's do not today, because we do actually gotta get some energy back. Unfortunately, these battles are getting bigger. Let's see, do we have him heal himself? We can do that outside of battle. Probably get my armor back here a little bit. Let's see. I kind of wish energy would come back very slowly as you're just walking around in the world. These guys, these guys are hurty. Let's see, do we do a cleave? It's gonna cost me a lot. We do have a whole bunch of firewood though. Stay down. And I'm probably going to need that firewood, honestly. Or I'm gonna need to use it. Next time let's go for the sneak attack. Maybe not immediately after this one. We're getting the close. Beetle leg will be dessert. <laughs> Bucket really likes beetle legs, apparently. This is this is lore. This is unexpected lore. Not necessarily unappreciated. Just like I don't know, was not expecting Bucket Bucket to care so much about eating bug legs. 